Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. So today we're going to make my little Santa. Here he is, if you can't see him. Now, we have already done the tutorial for the hat. It's a detachable hat, as you can see. Now, the tutorial that I made is for a green one. The green one, I'll show you what the green one goes with. It's exactly the same design. The green one here goes with our little elf. And I will be doing a design for the little elf video tutorial for the little elf for you as well, but not on this one. For this one today, we're going to do Santa. So the colours that we're going to need, and as I said, his hat comes on and off. Colours we're going to need are white for his hair and his beard and just the little cuffs around his sleeve here. We're going to use skin tone for his face. I'm using red, black for his shoes and his belt, and three little gold bands here for his belt buckle. I'm also using the 9mm toy safety eyes, that is these, I'm using those. Uh, I find them just probably a little larger than the, the 6mm. I like them, I think they're a little, they look a little better for the tiny tots. The smaller ones I think are a little bit too small, so I have to admit I've been using the 9mm ones quite a lot. I have to admit also that the beard is a fiddly beard to do, but I think it's worth it. You're going to need some stitch markers. You can use whichever stitch markers you like or happen to have. If you don't have a stitch marker, it doesn't matter. You can use a C-clip, an S-clip, a, a paper clip, a safety pin, bobby, bobby uh, clip, whatever. Um, so all of those sorts of things will work. So as I said, we've already done this. This was part one, so I'm going to put that to the side. We are going to concentrate on Santa himself. Now, we're going to start with a magic ring up the top here in white. You can do your magic ring either using your loom or using your hook. It doesn't matter. So let's get started. We're going to do mine on a hook. I'm going to use white bands and it is a magic ring of six. Let's count out our bands, six bands and one for our little end cap, which we start like this. Slide on. If you need to, you can either pinch with your nails or you can use a little um, stitch marker to go through and hold these three little loops open for you. Spread them around so it is a magic ring and not a magic or magic circle as they're sometimes called, not a magic semicircle. We're now going to do increases in each of these stitches, which means you'll need 12 bands because you're going to do two single crochets in a, each stitch. So here's our first one, number one. We're going to take a stitch marker and we're going to pop that on there so that we know that that is our first stitch. We're going to go back in that first stitch and do another single crochet. And we will move around, doing two single crochets in each stitch. So we're increasing the number of stitches from 6 to 12. Our next round is going to be a single crochet followed by an increase. Let's go into your first stitch, single crochet, move your stitch marker, that's your first stitch. And now we do an increase in the second stitch. single crochet, increase. Through 
both loops. This will take your stitches, your stitch count, to 18. Now our next round is going to be two single crochets followed by an increase. But what we're going to do, we're going to add some skin tone. I've got my skin tone just here. So we do our first single crochet and we're going to do nine stitches in white. That's number one. Oh, come on, get on there. Thank you very much. This is number two. Two. Remember, we're doing two single crochets. So one, two. Now we have to do an increase. This is three and four, five, six, seven, and eight in the same one. nine now we're going to change to skin tone so ten is going to be skin tone pull it through in a slip stitch because you've changed color now we're going to do six stitches in skin tone that was number one if you remember though we've just done single crochet single crochet so this has to be two one or an increase I should say two so that's three in total four, five, now number six is going to be in here, but we're doing an increase in this stitch which needs to be white, so just as normal go through, do your slip stitch, okay, so that was white, so we did our double, so we've got single crochet, single crochet increase oops come back here you single crochet single crochet and we finish on an increase and you should now have 24 stitches one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a slip stitch. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 is on our hook. Now, we need to do four rounds of single crochet with the white and with the flesh tone. Okay, so I'm going to put out four little bands here. Just so I know, we're doing four with the white and the flesh tone. So go in through your first stitch. And we're just doing single crochets. There's no increase. We're just staying at a count of 24. So where we have the white bands, we're going to do white single crochets. And it's tricky to see this skin tone, I have to admit, so I'll tell you when we get to it. And you will see that you have a little slip stitch there. So, just as we're going along here, the last single crochet, I'm going to zoom in so you can see really clearly what I'm talking about. Okay, so, this is, see this little angled one? This is where we did our slip stitch. We ignore the slip stitch. 
this stitch here before the slip stitch is our last white um, band. We're going to do a skin tone in it. So go through, slip, oops, we need to do a slip stitch because we're changing color. So go through, add your loop to it, and do your normal slip stitch. Skip the slip stitch and go into your next real stitch with skin tone. And we're doing skin tone, skin tone, skin tone, skin tone, skin tone. Now on our very last skin tone, which is here, okay, we're going to do a skin tone, but we're not going to do one in the next white stitch. Here's our slip stitch here. This skin tone that is on our hook stretches across to this white stitch. So skip your slip stitch, go into your white stitch, and we do a slip stitch here to change color. So go through, add your loop, and do your slip stitch. See how that's pulled across? And now we do white single crochet until we get to the end of our round. We're now to our next round, and again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take one from this little pile, so I know I have two more after this to do. Change my stitch marker to it, and we do white bands until we get to the very last white band, or white stitch, I should say. Get a few more. And the last stitch is the one just before your slip stitch, which is skin tone. Sorry, my phone is going crazy. So here we go. This is our last white stitch before this skin tone. Go through the white stitch and you're using skin tone. Pull it through and drop everything. <laughs> okay, let's try that again skin tone, pull it through, slip stitch because you're changing colour. Skip the slip stitch in the row previously and again we're doing skin tone. That's your second skin tone, third, fourth, fifth, Sixth, seventh, and eighth. This is the last skin tone. You're going to skip your slip stitch and go to your next white stitch and do a slip stitch for a change of color. And then do white single crochet until you get to your end of your round with your stitch marker. So new round, go through your first stitch, take one from this little pile, move your stitch marker, and we're going to do the same thing up to our last white band before the skin tone. You're doing single crochet. So 
this is my last one here I'm going to go through it and I'm going to do a slip stitch with a skin tone band skip the little slip stitch go into my skin tone next to it so this was my first slip the first skin tone this will be my second skin tone third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth and this is my last one the ninth I'm going to skip the slip stitch and go into the real stitch which is the white one here and do a slip stitch because I'm changing colour and I do white single crochet for the rest of the round now our fourth round of doing the skin tone in the middle we're going to add a nose we're going to do that by adding a little puff stitch back to the beginning this is my first stitch I'm going to pull through my white band move my stitch marker A few more bands ready here and we do again white until we get to the last white before the skin color starts okay, so here's my last white band I'm going to go through it with a skin tone slip stitch because I'm changing color there's the little slip stitch that I'm missing. Go through the next stitch. This is our second. This is third. Fourth. Now for the fifth stitch, because we're now going to have ten, I'm going to do that little puff stitch. What I'm going to do, and I, I'm working out, I want it to be roughly in the middle of here. So I think this is about right. But uh, again, it's it's trial and error. You might want it on the next one over. I'm going to do one, two, three, and then one, two, three. It could be either of these. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to do it here. I'm going to take a single band, pull it through, and hold it on my hook, just like this. I'm going to go back through that same stitch. I'm going to pull another one through and hold it on my hook back through the same stitch again single band pull it through and hold it on my hook I have three bands here okay now you can do three or four it doesn't matter I'm going to do four pull it back and hold it so I have my my loop from my previous stitch and then I have four bands here I'm going to take another single band and pull it through all of those okay I'm going to add my little loop, reclaim one over the other and then I'm going to go into the next stitch with single crochet like so and that gives me this little puff on his face which is going to be his nose. Single crochet and I'm still using skin tone this is my last skin tone for the face I'm going through I'm going to skip the slip stitch and go into the white stitch and we'll do a slip stitch because we're changing color
you see how that little puff just makes that little nose shape all right now this is my first stitch I'm going to get rid of these skin tones so I don't muddle them up with my white bands I'm going to get a bunch of white bands what we're going to do now if you have a look here it's all white and we add these little loops okay so we're going to do white all the way until we get to the, the skin tone, the flesh tone. With my first stitch, change my stitch marker, and around we go. One, two, three. Now, this is my last white stitch. I'm going to go into this stitch. That's four. Okay, so one, two, three, four. It's just five because I didn't count the first stitch we did. One, two, three, four, five. Move past your slip stitch. You're not using that. You're going in through your skin tone band. Okay, and you're going to take two white bands and place them on your hook like that. So you've got the, the stitch, the skin tone stitch, and then one band and two band. Take a single band and you are going to, I'm almost sort of holding these down with my finger. So I have the single band on my finger. I'm going to, and I'm doing it slowly so I'm messing things up. Put it through, pull that single band through so you've got the stitch and those two bands on it. And do your single crochet like normal. Go to your next stitch two bands pop them on the end of your hook you're not doing anything you're not twisting them nothing single band pull it through all four of the loops and do a single crochet the next one two pull through all of them like so and you're just doing a normal single crochet the nose is a bit tricky. You're going through the next skin tone stitch. Put your two bands on. Grab your single and pull it through all four. Then there's a stitch on the top of the nose here. We're going to do that. And there's a little stitch here just beside that. You're going to ignore that and go into this one. Because if you count, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So yes, you do. You miss that little one. It's almost like a, it's not a slip stitch, but it's the extra one from having done the nose. Okay. If you do get an extra stitch, if you don't, if you miss it out, don't worry. It's one extra stitch. It's not going to hurt anything. Single crochet through your next one. Two bands. Single band. Pull through. And we're doing this for four rounds. Two bands. And you're only going to do it. I'm. I made the um, this one. It's an incredibly bushy beard. You don't have to do it so much on the side. You can keep it just to here, or however bushy you want. Really, I'm just going to do in the skin tone area. Whereas in my other one, I did a little bit further. Pull through and normal single crochet. So this one is going to be my last one for my beard. Pull through. Now here's my slip stitch. I'm ignoring that. I'm going into the white stitch. And I'm going to do single crochet all the way until I get back to my stitch marker. Get a few more white bands ready. This is a little intensive on the white bands.
But if you wanted to do these these little beard bands all the way around, you can. I just have not. So this was the first round. We have three more to do. So I could put three little bands here to indicate that I have, th see, they're just here. Three more to do. I'm gonna zoom out just so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Come back to my first stitch, going through my first stitch. I'll take one of my little three bands here. change my stitch marker I'm going to do the same I'm going to do single crochet until I get to the beard area single crochet single crochet and I'm going to start my beard here because this is where I did it before so I'm going to go through my stitch get two bands place them on my hook so I've got the four loops there and it does get tricky as you already have beard loops here it can be a little tricky so be careful I sort of fold them down two add to your hook take your single and pull it through and do your regular single crochet Here's my next stitch. I'm going to take two, put them on my hook, my single. Again, I'm going to pull everything down. So I'm just viewing the stitch that I'm working on. Work your way around. And that one could, uh, maybe I'll do one more here. There you go. Because it's uh, on an alternating row or round, so you don't want it to look a bit odd. And then we just do single crochet until we get to our stitch marker. And then we do the same again for the following two rounds. I'm going to let you pause the video and we will do these two rounds, otherwise it's going to take forever. Um, if I do it slowly and show you, um, but I think I've, I've done two rounds with you, so I think you get the idea. But let's do the next two rounds by ourselves and we'll catch up when we're ready to start our decreases into the neck. So I have done my four rounds, adding the beard sort of in line with the uh, flesh tone color the skin tone now what I'm going to do is the eyes so I've got my little nine millimeter eyes and I'm just going to pop them through where I think um, they would look the best and the nice thing is with these is you can move them I'm going to pop them here and then I have the backs of them and I have my last uh, stitch right there so I'm going to pop these backs on I like to make sure that they click once, like so. Let's do the other one. There 
Oops. There we go. Click and click. So I put them either side of the little nose, the little nose that we made there. So that is his little head, his little bald head oh, with white hair. Now, what we need to do is start our decrease. So I'm going to pop my hook back on here. Now our decrease is we start with two single crochets followed by a decrease. And you might need to sort of smooth the beard loops down so that you can catch everything. So my first... Uh, my first stitch is going to be a single crochet and move your stitch marker and then it's another single crochet and then it's a decrease and the decrease we're going to do a hidden decrease so go through the back loop of the next two stitches okay and do your decrease and then again it's two single crochets one oops one take things slowly you've got lots of bands in the way here two and you can just smooth these down and then another decrease and a decrease one two and a decrease so much easier when the beard's not in the way. One, two, and decrease. One, two, and we finish with a decrease for this round. And the next round is going to be a single crochet followed by a decrease. So first stitch, single crochet, move your stitch marker, and a decrease, single crochet. and a decrease single crochet whoops through both loops and decrease single crochet decrease and we finish on the decrease like so now we're going to change our stitch now to red okay so I'm going to put these white away because the only thing we need white for now is around his little wrists to make it look like he's wearing gloves so we're changing to red 
and whoops my hook just came out of there let's put that back and our first thing we're going to do is be working in this back post so I'm going to go in through from the back of my stitch and up through the front of the next stitch to grab this little post area and I'm using red bands because I'm changing color I have to do a slip stitch like so and I'm going to put my stitch marker on that and we're going to work our way around in the post with red And we're back to the start. I can't really go through a post here because we already did it. So now we have to stretch this across to over here. We do a single crochet and we move our stitch marker. Our next stitch is going to be an increase. So that's two single crochets in the same stitch and then a single crochet and then an increase and we do that until we get back to the stitch marker Stretch these out a bit if you need to see what you're doing. finish on an increase so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18 is on your hook now to do the body the main body we use six rounds okay so I'm going to put my little bands here just so that I've got my six rounds but one of those rounds is going to be a, a black round for his belt and I'm going to make that this fourth round here I'm going to put a black band there so that we know that we're going to do that round as his uh, belt so all we're doing is taking one move your stitch marker And then you're doing the next round in red and the next round in red then a round of black and two more rounds of red so I'm going to continue doing my red single crochets for this round and a further two rounds so I'll have a total of three in the red bands and when I get to my round of black 
I uh, will catch you back. There's my last red. I'm moving in, doing a single slip stitch for my black. Now, this is the time that we would need to put our gold bands on for the belt. So you've got your slip stitch first. Now what we're going to do, take a, a gold band, wrap it once, twice. I'm actually going to wrap it three times. I think this looks a little bit loose. So I'm going to try wrapping it three times so I have the four loops this time. I'm going to push my hook through my next stitch, draw back one over the other and now I'm going to slide the gold band on and we'll see how this looks and then one over the other like that. Then I'm going to take my next gold band Wrap it once, twice, and three times. And I think it depends on the type of gold band you're using, whether you wrap it three times or just twice. It depends on the thickness of the band. These are not a rainbow loom gold. They're a uh, DIY gold. I think they're a thick uh, sort of cylindrical gold, which I quite like. But it means that they do look a bit parted if I don't wrap them enough times. Push through, grab my next, one over the other, and slide my gold band on. I hope you didn't all steam ahead without me after I said after I stopped. Okay, and now into the next stitch with just a normal black single crochet so that is what the belt will end up looking like okay you'll have these little gold bands there and then just keep going around with your black bands for the belt I'll do the colour transition and then we can do the two rounds by ourselves of red. All the way around. Now I did not put a stitch marker but that doesn't matter because we know exactly where the beginning is because you're going to skip that little slip stitch. This is your first stitch. We're going in with red. Let's take it from this pile. You're doing a slip stitch because we have the colour change and you're going to put your stitch marker on here because that is our beginning. And then you're just going to go around. Just remember, we're only doing 24 stitches. You're not dropping any with a decrease or adding any with an increase. So just single crochet in each stitch. Okay, and we've got another round after this. So I will meet you back when you have done your full round of red and then one more round of red. So I've now completed my six rounds. I'm going to do one more stitch. I'm going to make it a slip stitch. And I'm going to chain three. One, so I'm going to make sure I'm in the middle. I'm going to do one more. That's, I want it in the middle. So that's my first stitch. We don't really worry about the stitch marker anymore. So I'll do a single crochet. I'm going to take that stitch marker out because all I need to worry about is being in the middle and I'm going to be in the middle here. So slip stitch, chain one, chain two, chain three. Now I'm going to hold this so that this is like this 
and find the opposite side that I think matches. Take one side, pull it through, reclaim the other and do my stitch. And that is how I'm going to do the legs. Now, I'm actually going to put my little clip here because I need to stuff the head. Okay, I haven't stuffed his head and I haven't done his arms yet either. So what I might do, I might do the arms first, then I'm going to stuff his head. I can do it either way, it doesn't really matter. So, I have done one arm already. I'm using red and white bands. Just one round in white and eight, let me see, seven. So we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at that, I've got eight already. We're going to do a magic ring of eight. So let's do that. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, and one for our little end cap. So wrap around twice. Let's do our little magic ring. Pinch. Push back through. Again, if you don't like doing your magic ring with your hook, Here's your loom. So there's my magic ring of eight. This is my first stitch here. I'm going through. I'm going to take my first band, do a single crochet, and I will put my stitch marker on that. I'm going to go around, doing a single crochet in red all the way around. Now, I've made one. I'm making one with you. You will make two. So we're just making one together, but you will make two. Make sure I go through both those loops. So our next round is going to be white. So change colour by doing the slip stitch. Move your stitch marker. And around we go, doing a round of white bands. And you're not increasing, so you are staying with eight stitches all the way around for the entire arm. For your first stitch, ignore your little slip stitch. Go to your first stitch, We're back to red, slip stitch to change colour. Move your stitch marker and around we go in red. Next round, move your stitch marker.
next round. New round. Make sure you still have just eight stitches. Two more rounds to go. This is my second last round. Last round. So now we go through the first stitch, drag a band back and do a slip stitch. You can remove your stitch marker. Now we're going to do two more anchor bands. So pick where you want to go through, sort of in the middle somewhere. And on the other side, draw back one. And then let's go through the end here. So one here and one here. And do another slip stitch. You're not linking those in, you're just leaving them like that so that they are little anchor bands. Now, what we're going to do, let's add our little anchor bands in. I'm actually going to undo this little um, this little one here. I'm going to undo it and I will leave it unattached for the time being. So I'm going to put that's my third chain. I'm just going to put my stitch marker on here to hold it, but that actually gives us room to stuff and to put the arms on. So for the arms, I'm going to pinch this nice and tightly so that these don't come unraveled. I'm going to line up with the eye roughly to about, hmm, I guess here, and I'm going to go back three. So one, two, three. And we'll see if this is about the spot that I want to put. Now the fun thing is with these, that when you add them, you're pulling the anchor band through the three holes that correspond. You can have a look and see if you feel that that's in the right spot. Flip the tummy inside out. Take the first stitch off. Link two and three. Put the first stitch back on. And then one over the other. 
and the way to secure it in place is just go through a couple of the bands at the back here and then with a the red same colour as the body that you're making do a little tie off don't do it too tight to start off because you want to check that you are happy with the position of the arm and these when you sort of fold them down we've had them up as we've been working but as you sort of brush them down they sort of sit down a little better I think that arm is in the right spot as you can see I'm sort of one space over from where the eye is so pause the video make your second one I'm going to add my second one and then we can get back to stuffing his little head I'm going to add my second one on which you will do as soon as you've made yours let's hope that we're in a right position I'm going to flip his body inside out take the first one off link those two link these two find a little couple of V's to go through I always like to go through two just as sort of security so that if one breaks the other one is uh, still holding it there we go see how that looks see if I've got them lined up nicely I think so I think that's all right now I'm going to get some stuffing and we'll stuff his head we're not going to stuff his body just yet though so I use the 100% polyfill but you can use tissues toilet paper uh, yarn scraps um, old pieces of wool um, cotton wool balls anything really the trick when you stuff is to not overstuff. you if you push too much stuffing in you run the risk of stretching the bands so that you can see too much um, they stretch and spread apart and then they don't look very nice so don't overstuff it's always easy to add a little bit more if you need to you still want it to have its shape though so kind of find a happy medium so I think that looks okay I want his head to be round okay and I'm not going down further than the neck as you can see if you look in here I've stopped right there and uh, I think I might move I don't know if I want to move one of the eyes arms back or not I think I might leave it I just might leave it there I think he's fine he might look better once I've stuffed him a little move this out the way okay so we've done that stuffing now this is you see the little hat will just fit on like that and you just sort of stretch it so that it accommodates the back of his head all right so now we've got this little bit you want to make sure that it's in line okay like so not twisted find the opposite side so I'm gonna go through about here pull one side through and link the other okay and then what we're going to do is go into the next stitch right here and this will be our first stitch and we're going to put our stitch marker on it now each of these little legs is going to be built up by three rounds okay so I'm going to take my first one and we will just work our way around this side when you get to the center instead of continuing around you're going to work your way down the chain that we made in the middle so we got to that last stitch now if you can see this stitch goes here 
and here we're going to go through the stitch here with a single crochet and then we work our way through one half so you've got two loops this side and two loops the other side we're going through the two loops this side the two loops the other side are used for the other leg again on this next chain go through the two loops that are closest to you and then let's have a look here what we're going to do we don't want to leave a big gap so there is this little stitch in between we're going to go there so that we don't leave a big space because if we do that um, when we stuff it's going to look nasty so we're back to our first stitch take one from the little counter bands that we've got there and move your stitch marker and we're going to continue doing our next round and we will have one more round to do after this the first round is always the trickiest because if you don't do it carefully you'll get stuck with some gaping holes around the crotch area and that's not good make sure you go through each stitch that we've made and back to the beginning I'm going to go through my first stitch this is my last round in red move my stitch marker and around I go for my last round in red My next round is going to be a round in black. So do a colour change with a slip stitch. And around we go with black. This is for his little boots. Now I'm going to go through my first stitch, okay, I'm skipping this one, I'm going through my first stitch and then I'm going to come back through the second stitch and poke the post out, okay, and I'm going to work in that front post and I'm going to put my stitch marker on that because I need to stuff and I'm going to stuff before I close up these little toes. So now what I'm going to go and do is come back to face the belt side 
I'm not going on the inside leg here. I'm going to go through the stitch right close here. And with red, I'm going to do a single crochet, like a little slip knot, and put my stitch marker there. And now we need to do three rounds of red this side. So my next stitch is right here. And let's work all the way around doing three rounds in red and one round in black. Just like we did for the other leg. Now, very carefully have a look. You've got this little band here where we started. We're going to go through that because otherwise we'll get a great big hole. And now you can see the two little loops that were from the chain that we made. Go through. And here's the next one. And here's the third one. Be careful that you're getting both sides of it. There we go. Now again you want to be careful with it, you're not going to get a big hole here. We've just done that one. Our next is the first stitch. So go through and move your nose. Yes, it is the first stitch. Move your stitch marker. And we're going to do two, two more rounds. So this is my second round. And we're going to do another round after this. So I will catch you back. You're going to do, after this round, this is our second round of red. You're going to do a third round of red. And then a round of black. I will meet you back when we are at the round of black. So I have both my legs at the same stage now. I have not closed them off. We need to do the stuffing of the body. So let's grab our stuffing. And again, you don't want to use too much. So I'm going to do a little bit at a time and they have to go through this little space here. Sometimes you might need to use the back of your hook to push in with the back of your hook which is nice and easy make sure that you stuff the tummy and I'm going to split this in half again and do one side for each leg side. Try not to overstuff it. Let's try the other. You can always take a little bit out if you feel that it's too stuffed in. There we go. So that is how I'm going to stuff his little tummy and his little legs. Now, as you know, we went through the front post. So I'm going to take my hook and I went through the first front post. So I'm going to do the same. I go through from the front to the back and then from the back to the front and there's that little post. Okay, and I'm going to work my way around the foot doing a single crochet in the front post. I keep picking up the same band and it's stuck to its buddy. So it wasn't coming apart. Brute force wins the day. Oops, come back here, you. Now, I'm not doing a decrease at this stage, I'm just doing the front post. 
and then I will decrease to close and of course the uh, dustbin man trash truck comes along just as we're recording Murphy's Law of course it will This, I think, is my last post. Now, uh, I'm going to take this little stitch marker off. Have a look. I've got that tiny little area that I need to do decreases in. So what I'm going to do, I, I want to sort of... I have to be careful that I don't leave this gaping hole here so I'm going to make sure that I go through two now I'm not doing invisible decreases I'm doing full full decreases so that I don't leave gaping holes okay and I'm just going to go through the next two it is tricky doing these decreases when you've got stuffing that's just itching to get out but uh, try and keep it, try and keep it where it lives. Let's find the next two, this one and this one. This is where yarn is nice because you just stitch this up with a bit of thread. <laughs> and instead we have to do decrease over decrease to get this little hole as small as possible so I'm going in here I think this will probably be my last one and then I'll do a tie off yep and then I'm going to do a tie off I'm just going to go through a couple of bands here to tie off pull nice and tight work from the back I'm going to push my hook under some of these, up to the foot, grab that tie-off band and pull it back in, in the hopes that it is hidden inside, and it is. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. You're going to work in the post, the front post. Goodness me, I'm running out of bands. I placed a, an order yesterday and I'm thinking, goodness, I hope they arrive in time. Oops, let's do that one again. One last post to work here, and then we do our decreases and take my stitch marker out because I know now that I just have this little hole that I need to 
just do decreases in to close up that space. and tie off go from the back up to the center of the foot grab the end of the tie off band and pull it back and let go and now we grab our little Santa hat well here he is this is this is our little tiny tot Santa and then once you've done the hat which is part one of the tutorial all you do is stretch that little hat and I have to say I I like it to be on the top of his eyes like so but coming down to the back of his neck and there you go there you have your little Santa I hope you enjoy making him. Merry Christmas. There he is. I think he's really cute. Take care. Bye-bye.